Hey guys, so I wanted to have a quick conversation about something that I call spiritual guardians. A lot of times people feel that when they are exploring their spiritual journey or they're just going through everyday life, that they are alone. A lot of people feel that they are alone and they don't realize that we all have invisible helpers helping us and assisting us with every facet of our life, every facet of our journey, including our own personal development. Before we incarnate into a body, we have these agreements that we set up with helpers, guides, guardians, ancestors, angels to all play a very specific role in our life journey. So when we're born, as we're going through experiences that we've set up for ourselves to learn lessons, soul lessons, those different guides and guardians step in at many different times in our lives. Sometimes it's when we're younger. A lot of people have said that they've seen angels when they were younger. They used to see spirits that would help them, that would talk to them. Some people talk about these things happening when they are a teenager and other people much later in life when they've had really dark moments in their life or they were at, you know, the end of the road and they felt like their back was up against the wall and they went through a really hard time what we tend to call the dark night of the soul, then these helpers stepped forward and started presenting themselves. And essentially, people had started having their own um, spiritual awakening. And so the reason why I wanna talk about this is a lot of times we don't understand that as we are developing spiritually, we're developing our relationship with our own soul, with ourselves, with our divine selves, and we're returning back to our own divine inner nature, right? And we're also learning to lean away from the mind back into the soul and being soul-led instead or spiritually led instead. And it's a reconditioning that has to happen because when we're born, if you notice, babies, children, they live from the heart, they live from the soul, they live from their spirit until things start to happen and they start to lean away from their feeling center into the mind. And then we learn and we are conditioned that it's not safe to feel, we can't feel, we can't trust our feelings. We have to move into logic and we navigate the world with logic, turning off our feelings, turning off our gifts, and essentially turning off that line of communication to our guides and our overseers. And our guides and our overseers and our spiritual guardians are there to remind us of who we are, but also why we came here. They're not here to take over our lives or possess us in any way. A lot of people feel like, oh, I'm scared to talk to my guides or open up. What if I call in a bad spirit? That's not gonna happen. Like I said before, it's the living you have to worry about, not the spirit. And it hasn't been my experience. Doesn't mean that it's not necessarily true, but you have spiritual guides and guardians and ancestors that are watching over you that are constantly giving you signs to connect with them. And so when you already go into it with the mindset of this is negativity, it's a bad spirit, you're gonna create that. So the purpose of this video really is to get you to open up and to realize, wait a minute, I don't have to figure everything out by myself. Not only do I have my higher self and my soul, but I actually have helper spirits around me that can support me in my soul's journey, in my soul's growth, in my highest intention, can support me in understanding what's my soul contract? Why did I come here? What did I come here to do, to share, to be? And what I wanna invite you to do, and we're gonna do a little exercise, is to start opening up your mind to the divine energies that are around you, that are there specifically to assist you. Because believe it or not, they are actually growing by assisting you. And even though we leave the body, the soul still continues to grow as we move through higher dimensions, other worlds. So all these other souls, all these other beings are actually growing by working with you, by assisting you. And there isn't anything that you can't ask. There isn't anything that, can't, that, that they cannot support you with, all right? Especially as it relates to aligning with your soul, aligning with your light, and moving further into your power. Okay, and the thing is, and what's fun about it is, your guides, your guardians, your overseers are gonna be different for everybody. 
you're gonna know for yourself what it feels like when they're around, what it may look like, what their signs are, because it's gonna be unique to you. Spirituality is subjective. So what I like to do as a teacher is open the door, lead you into that room, and allow you to have your own personal experience so then you can be empowered and you can find meaning for yourself within that relationship between you and your soul, but also the relationship between you and your guardians, you and your helpers. They want to be a part of your journey. That's what they're there for. And whether you believe in it or not, or believe in them or not, they believe in you and they are there. And I know that there's somebody watching right now that you might feel like you're alone. Nobody understands you, nobody gets you. You're sensitive, okay? You're not fake, you're not phony. Um, you're feeling things all the time and you can't find anyone to relate to. You don't understand, you have all these gifts, you don't know what to do with it. Well, working with your guides and your guardians will help you to anchor in that awareness in a practical way where you can start to understand the deeper meanings of your life and the deeper meanings of the experiences that you've been having, which is what you really want. And I've said this a thousand times and I'm gonna say it again, everything that you're looking for is already divinely ordained within you. It's contained within that light that burns, that's always been burning, always going to burn, and it will never run out. It's your soul, it's your light, your higher self. Whatever label you give it, it doesn't matter, but it's the, the entity of love and life and that primordial energy of creation that lives within you. And when you learn to tap into that and open up to that, you're opening up to your entire team of beings, guardians, angels that were specifically assigned to assist you. So you never have to feel like you're ever alone in anything, all right? So let's do a quick little exercise and then I'm gonna give you some soul work. What I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes. And as you close your eyes, just we're gonna go into a light meditation. Just know that your spiritual team, your guardians are already connected to you. They're already with you. They're already there. They're a part of you. And there isn't anything that you have to do to connect to them other than relax. So take a deep breath. And I want you to exhale and I want you to start to just relax your body, relax your mind. Inhaling in through your nose, exhaling out through your mouth. And I want you to do that a few times. And as you do that, just allow your shoulders to relax, your arms to relax. Let go of any tension anywhere. Feel yourself sinking down within your body. beautiful. Notice the light within you starting to glow, starting to light up and expand all through you, within you. Almost like your body's lighting up from within. Let that light rise. Allow that energy and that power within you to rise. Now as it rises, just in your mind, ask for your spiritual guardians to step forward. All of your spiritual guardians, your guides, your overseers, those that are here to support you in your daily life, in your spiritual journey, and following your soul's contract to step forward, to come close to you, close in a way that you can feel them and sense them feeling their love and their support, sensing their presence. Allow them to make themselves known to you. Pay attention to what you notice, what you're feeling. And then allow them and ask them to just begin to send healing wherever it is that you need. Wherever it is that healing is needed, whether it's emotional, physical, that they send it. Send it there strengthening that connection. Just invite them in. Invite them to connect with you. Notice what you feel. Notice what's coming up. Notice the energy. Be 
beautiful. Now ask your spiritual guardians, what is it that they want you to know? Or what answers can they share with you about the current questions you have about your life or your relationships? What do they want you to know? What do they want to share? And just begin to notice the information as it moves through you, as it comes to you in your mind, your feelings. Trust that, listen. Trust in the information. What do they want you to know? And as you receive that, then just ask, what are my next steps? What are the next right steps that I can take in my life to move forward in the way that I'm wanting to go? What's my next step with this decision that I have to make? What's in my highest alignment? And trust what comes to you. Trust what comes to you. And now lastly, just ask, how can you connect with them more? What are things that you can do to enhance that connection, to strengthen that connection? How much time can you spend with them each day to develop that relationship? Trust what comes to you. Beautiful, as you receive that information, just thank them. Ask them to continue to send their energy, to seal your energy field, your aura, with that light. Making sure that your energy field is protected and your boundaries are set. And on the count of three, we're going to come out of the meditation, still maintaining that connection. One, two, three. Welcome back. I want you to leave me a comment and let me know what you experienced, the information that came to you, because it's always helpful for those that read it. But I know you felt something and I know you received the information and look at how easy that was. Imagine if you did that every day, if you took at least 20 to 30 minutes, checked in, connected, centered, received the information and took action based on that. All right. So I want you to do me a favor. This is your soul work. Every day I want you to invite yourself to take about 10 to 15 minutes, just sit with yourself, call in your team, ask for the healing that you need, and then ask a question. Put out a question that you have about your life, maybe about a relationship or something that you're dealing with or trying to decide, and let them guide you. Let them give you more information about it. Maybe you have a question about your life purpose or a life direction or a move, whatever that is, Engage in your spiritual guides and your guardians to help you, to work with you. And I want you to invite yourself to start taking a different approach to how you navigate your journey. I want you to invite yourself to incorporate your entire team that is there to help you, that is there to help guide you to the information, guide you to the answer, guide you to the right door, all right? So many blessings to you all. Please do me a favor. Make sure you like the video. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know what you experienced and be good to yourselves. Trust yourselves and listen to your spiritual guardians. I'll see you in the next video.